Hello everyone and welcome to another Ants Bene video. So today we have the Queen Ant box and we are going to be doing an update on these queens because it's been quite a while since we've checked on them so let's get to it. So for a fun game I decided to bring out the wheel. See what we get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, guys, it looks like we're going to do the Chromatogaster. All right, guys, so here is the Chromatogaster. She seems to be doing very well, except for the fact that she is infertile and doesn't have any eggs. Well, you never know, guys. Sometimes unmated queen ants will, will lay eggs. But let's take a moment to observe her. Anyways, before we get to the rest of the video, I wanted to do a big shout out to my new channel, Enter the Gamer. So this is going to be like my channel for like sports, nature, Roblox gaming, things like that. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that we can hit one, 100 subscribers by the time it's Halloween and possibly even do like a big Halloween live stream. So we're hoping to do that. So yeah, if you're a, if you're very interested and or big on sports and nature and gaming, definitely go subscribe to this. Anyways, back to the video. So next on our list, we have a Fiendgaster. Let's go see how they're doing. All right, so here are our Fiendgaster queens. Queen number one seems to have a good pile of eggs there, so she's going to have workers soon, and yeah, they've been growing like very, very slowly for some reason, and the room that they were in is kind of cold. I'll explain in a second. So as we know, these queens are fully claustral, so I don't like need to feed them or anything. They are good to go until they have a few workers. Going on to queen number two. Alright, so here's queen number two. She seems to be very healthy. She has the eggs. She's carrying them in her mouth. A little clutch of them. And yeah, soon, stay tuned for that video, but we're going to be replacing their test tubes. Anyways, this one's been doing pretty good. Um, I haven't checked on these queens since last week. I see right beside her, she's also got a larvae over there. Yeah. Let's go on to queen number three. So queen number three is also doing really, really good. She has a lot of larvae and some eggs. As you can see, she's nourishing them right now and guarding her eggs. She just realized that the test tube was open. Ooh, nice. She's looking right at us, guys. Queen number three is very adventurous. Only kidding. But let's take the, the time to observe queen number three. Alright guys, so the one that is remaining on this wheel, we will look at in our next video as well. Three, two, one. Let's see which one remains. Woo! Lacius, let's go check on them right now. All right, guys, so here is the possibly infertile Lacius. Like I said, the infertile ones will still lay eggs. They just will not come out as workers. And they will come out as males. But as you can see, she has her wings still. And this is what your typical infertile queen looks like, or unmated queen. But you never know. Sometimes they, um, they sometimes keep their wings. So, we don't exactly know if this is like infertile or fertile or not. So, yeah, she has a, a pile of eggs over there as you can see. Very nice clutch. 
I don't see any lar larva or larvae or anything like that. Alright guys, so let's go to the surprise. Three, two, one. Voila! We got another Laceus colony. So this is the queen that I um, brood boosted a little bit from a Laceus queen. And that Laceus Queen had a colony, but for some reason that colony died, so I, I managed to rear up another Laceus Colony. As you can see here, she has got seven workers, which is a pretty good amount, so we're going to be doing a feeding video on them pretty soon, and yeah, once they hit enough workers, we'll give them an outworld. So they can forage. For now, I can deal with them inside the test tube because there won't be so many of them escaping. But usually, guys, don't don't do this. But like, if there's so many workers, just like put them into an outworld, even if it's just like seven or eight workers. Probably better for them. But these are smaller ants, so they have a uh, they're occupying less space. So that's why smaller ants you can keep them inside a test tube for longer like like you've seen in the dark faders for example so here's a cool tip a big indicator that uh, the it's time to feed them is if the workers are either foraging for food or want to get out and go into a space to forage so that those are two ways you can tell that they're ready for food and as you can see, some of these workers are hard enough, which means they were around for quite some time. And yeah, let's take a moment to observe these guys as well. guys so that will be the end of this video we're just gonna take a few minutes to uh, I mean a few seconds to observe this colony here because as, as you can see there's one worker I don't know if you can see her but she's at the top biting the cotton so that so you know what that means guys we're gonna be doing a video on these ants pretty soon because we're going to give them an outworld but, I'm not going to tell you which outworld it is yet. You guys can guess in the comments, and I'll see if you got it correct. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video with all the other queen ants, and that our third Aphenogaster is going to be having her workers in like a few weeks, possibly. I don't know if they will like make it before hibernation, because some queens when they when they do their nuptial flights later they often wait till next spring before they get their workers so i don't know if i'm going to get workers from a fumigaster this year but we'll see guys and if there are any workers popping out then i will i will let you all know anyways with that said make sure you subscribe so we can hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year like and turn on that bell so you know when my next video comes up and if you have any questions definitely comment down below but also comment which outworld they're going to be getting <laughs> enjoy the ants among us and i'll see you in my next episode say bye to all the queens